Doc, how you doing, man? Appreciate you, man. So, Doc, tell me something, man. What did you think when your office said Steve Harvey's on the phone for you? Man, you, you know, it was pretty surreal and unbelievable. But I knew that if we worked together, I could change your future and your life. And what was really important when we sat down was that you really opened up to me about everything. Yeah, man, because I, I had to tell the doctor what was really going on with me. And for the first time, I wasn't able to drop pounds like I used to. I used to just walk for two weeks and boom, I'd lose five, six pounds. And then two weeks later, I was in shape and that just wasn't happening anymore, man. And uh, I, I had been up and down in my weight my whole life, but this time was a little bit different. Yes, this part of the body no one talks about also affects the rate you burn those carbs and calories, which causes some of those weight loss issues as we all deal with when we age. And, and you gave me the fix for all of it. I'm going to tell you about a really simple solution and one thing that you can do to improve your health right at home. I love it, man. Folks, I'm telling you, this guy really changed my life. He really did. And now he's going to change all of yours, too. It's something that plagues millions of us. And it's so easy to fix. All right, Doc. What is it? Everybody's on pause on you. What is it? You had mitochondria decline. That's right. My... <laughs> That's what I had. <laughs> Sounds like a mighty decline. <laughs> you had the mitochondria. Yeah, that, that's what I had. My, what is it, Doc? Mitochondria. But, well, first of all, serious note now, what are mitochondria? So mitochondria are these tiny little structures in every cell that creates its energy. And they are so important for your overall health. And if these tiny itty bitty parts of every cell in your body, your mitochondria, if the mitochondria is in decline, your whole body performs poorly. Okay, so doc, explain to everybody that's watching and everybody out there how this really works. It's kind of complex, but I'm gonna make it so easy for you to understand. It's so simple in fact that I promise you and everybody out there, they're going to be experts by the time we get done with this video. These tiny little mitochondria, they turn the food that we eat into that crucial energy for your whole body. Here's how it works. When you eat food, it goes down your digestive tract. Then your digestive tract breaks it down into smaller pieces. Once your food is in those smaller pieces, it's actually these little guys, the mitochondria cells, that convert it into energy. That energy is called ATP and is what powers your muscles, your heart, your brain, and gut, everything in your body. The scientific term, again, is ATP, but you don't like to keep things simple, so let's call it the miracle molecule, okay? And this miracle molecule is truly miraculous, as you, as you found out, yeah. right? And when a cell needs energy anywhere in your body, from your heart, muscles, brain, or gut to function, it comes from that miracle molecule produced by your mitochondria. Now, problems start to happen, like the things Steve was suffering from, like weight gain, brain fog, fatigue, gut issues. When your mitochondria become damaged, when these mitochondria are damaged, let's say rusty or broken, they can't produce enough of this miracle molecule to power the body. Mm -hmm. So how do the mitochondria get rusty and broken? There are three crucial things that can damage them. Let's call them the mitochondrial destroyers. They are key to understanding your mitochondrial health. The first mitochondrial destroyer is the standard American diet. <laughs> we, can all, we can all attest that we probably don't eat completely clean, right? But the standard American diet, processed foods that come in cans and boxes and packages, you know, we can feel that that's just not good for us, right? Our cells are unable to maintain the flow of that miracle molecule. Even foods you ate when you were younger, like a lot of sugar, can damage cellular tissue and mitochondria for a long time to come. We didn't know that we were supposed to eat anything different. Um, but back then, it wasn't our fault. You know, it's just stuff we grew up right. with. But now that we know it, there's something we can do about it, which we'll tell you about in a few moments. The second mitochondrial destroyer is unfortunately something that we all have to deal with, aging. And while we can't reverse or do anything about aging, the good news is, is that we can, we can slow and reverse mitochondrial aging. You see, as your body ages, so do your cells. And just as some cells grow faster than others, some age faster than others. So communication can break down between the cells and our mitochondria, causing them to become less efficient at functioning. And that's when accelerated aging happens in your body and maybe why Mr. H was feeling like an old man, yeah. right? But when the mitochondria are young, they communicate well, like in the early days of a relationship, but over time, like a marriage, communication can break down. So just like in a relationship or a marriage, you need to find a way to restore that communication to help solve this problem. 
And the third mitochondrial destroyer is another thing that is almost impossible to avoid and also another thing that nobody really talks about, but it's, it's toxins. It's the toxins that build in your body over time. It comes from things all around us and things we use on a daily basis that we can't help. So think about it. All three of these mitochondrial destroyers, aging, the standard American diet, and toxins are damaging those ever important mitochondria and destroying our health. And if those mitochondria are damaged, they aren't able to make enough of that miracle molecule mm -hmm. that's so crucial for every part of our body. When your mitochondria is rusty or broken in your gut, your gut cells run slower. And you may have symptoms like indigestion, bloating, irregular bowel function. When your mitochondria is rusty and broken in the brain, your brain cells run slower. You have brain fog, your thinking is labored, and you have trouble focusing. When your mitochondria is rusty and broken in the cells of your heart or muscles, you run low energy, endurance, and strength. So the key to better health and the millions who are struggling with these common symptoms is to get those mitochondria fit again. They are all tied to your mitochondrial health. So let me ask you this, Doc. How do people know if they have mitochondrial decline? It's simple. They felt like you did, right? Which are common <laughs> symptoms, right? So maybe they feel exhausted. They're bloated. You know, their, their bowels are irregular. In fact, the number one symptom I hear coming from both men and women is fatigue. People believe it's just because they are getting older and aging, but most of the time, it's just mitochondrial decline, and no one realizes it. You don't really know what it is, you know. But by, by the way, let me, let me ask you a question. What did you start seeing in my body after all those tests? When we got everything back, it was chaos. Yeah. Right, and, I, and we, we discussed how that oh, looked. Oh, it was not a, it was an unhappy <laughs> moment for me. You know, you're talking to your doctor, and, hey man, so what you see? Chaos. What? <laughs> You know, you, you start thinking, you, you're like, man, I'm in really bad shape, you know. Your body was in a chaotic state. I'm sure you felt that way as well. Your mitochondria were underperforming and fatigued. I mean, now I understand, you know, exactly why I was struggling with all of these things. You know, I had low energy. My focus was, wasn't sharp. I was off. I was fatigued. I really wasn't sleeping well. I, I was just missing my old vigor, my strength, even in the gym, because I like going to the gym. I, that was, my stomach was always hurting. I stayed bloated. 